<laughs> so it's October. That means a Halloween's coming up really soon. So for this month, I'm going to do a different Halloween hack every single week. This week, I'm going to start by showing you how to build a really inexpensive floor switch. This is like a pressure pad you can put on the ground, and someone steps on it, you can make it actuate some other special effect. So you can use it, for example, to scare people as they walk up to your door for trick-or-treating. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need some aluminum foil, some duct tape, and a bunch of corrugated cardboard. First, cut yourself a rectangular piece. Make it as big as you need it to be. Once that's done, cut another piece just about the same size. Mine's about 15 inches by 19 inches. Next, you need to cut some cardboard strips about one and a half inches wide. I made mine about 15 inches long. Once you have the first strip, you can use it as a guide for the rest. Based on the size of my pressure plate, I made six cardboard strips. Next, we're going to cover each side in aluminum. Wrap the foil around the edges of the cardboard. Try to keep the foil flat against the bottom if you can. Then tape it in place. Now flip the board around and tape on the back side. This should hold the foil in place. Should look like this when you're done. Now add another overlapping piece of foil. Wrap it around the edges. Put a small piece of tape to keep it from sagging. And then tape it on the back side just like before. Now we're going to put tape along the long edges. wrap it around the outer edge. This will create an insulated layer that will prevent the bottom plate from being able to touch the top plate without someone standing on it. Should look like this when it's all done. Make sure you leave an open spot of foil on the back. Then do the same thing to the other square of cardboard. Notice how I left an opening here too. Now even out all your cardboard strips. It doesn't have to be perfect, just pretty close and then use some duct tape to tape them in place. It should look like this when it's done. Now place the other piece on top face down. Now's a good time to test and make sure everything works properly. Set your multimeter to continuity test. And then set one probe on the bottom and one on the top. You shouldn't hear any beeping. But if you press down on the plate, notice how it closes the circuit, just like a regular switch. Now we just need to tape this whole sandwich together. Place duct tape all around the outer edge. When you're done it should look like this. Notice how I left a small gap. This will allow me to connect wires to the switch later on. Let's give it another test. Still working. Now let's add a couple small wires. We can easily do this with just a small piece of duct tape. And do it again on the bottom. And now let's just test that one more time. Everything looks good. So with just cardboard, aluminum foil, and duct tape, you can make a perfectly good pressure plate. Now you just need to figure out what to hook it up to. And next week I'm going to make a video to show you just that. If you like this series, don't forget to like or subscribe to let me know.